Hello friends, today I am going to share my experience with the latest CyanogenMod mode version 10.2. This is running the Android version 4.3.1 Jelly Bean. Uh, Samsung already stopped developing new OS updates for Samsung Galaxy S2 GT i9100. This is the international version. And the main problem with the touchwiz was the uh, lagging problem little bit lag here and there also the main problem was the battery drain too much you cannot use this set for a full day uh, this cyanogen mode 10.2 uh, solve a lot problems like that uh, now it is uh, not draining that much battery also a smooth performance there is no lag using less memory and overall this ROM is ready for day to day usage I would say uh, this is the best ROM I found in uh, in Cyanogen mode or whatever uh, from XDA developers etc uh, in XDA developers you can get the latest 4.4 uh, beta build but uh, that is KiCad uh, but you cannot use it for dead to life because uh, that will not work perfect way sometimes camera will not work sometimes Wi-Fi will not work but this ROM sorry but this ROM is perfect everything is perfect everything is working fine I am happy to recommend everybody to install this ROM. Yesterday I see a news that uh, the CyanogenMod mode one click installation app was removed from Play Store. Uh, but no problem you can uh, go to cyanogenmod.org and download the one click installation app. After I am going to say something, uh, some procedure to install, this is very simple. Uh, you have to go to cyanogenmod.org and download the apk file and install it into your phone make sure that install from unknown sources uh, should be checked uh, after the, after installing that uh, you open that app and that will show a symbol a short url you have a windows pc to continue this process and finish flashing uh, you have to type that uh, short url in your browser that will give you a simple installation file uh, under 2000 kb and open that file and connect uh, this device to uh, pc that will detect your uh, pc sorry detect your phone you have to install the latest uh, driver samsung android driver in your pc windows 7 8 or xp no problem with that uh, that will detect your phone and start downloading the operating system then your latest 4.3.1 cyanogen mode after that it will restart the phone into recovery mode everything is automatic you don't have to do anything uh, that will restart the phone into recovery mode and after few minutes you will have the latest Cyanogen mode 10.1 and the android version 4.3.1 i'm going to show you some cool features they added in this uh, firmware uh, as you can see in in latest phone latest android uh, uh, versions they added toggle like this you can adjust uh, screen brightness or toggle or switch from 2g to 3g uh, why i took 2g because 2g will save you more battery a 3g will uh, drain too much battery if you need 3g speed you can toggle this and uh, switch to 3G after using 3G you have to switch back to 2G that will save you a lot of battery okay uh, now uh, you can you can rearrange these uh, toggles or add new toggle from the settings uh, I can show you that before 
see yeah, this is the latest for no this is not latest latest version is 4.4 keycat this is 4.3.1 jelly bean and the build date is uh, 10 to sorry the Wednesday November 2013 this is the build date and everyone know this is ARM V7 processor uh, this is the GT i9100 this is not GT i9100G I think they are supporting I, uh, GT i9100G also uh, after uh, inst after you downloading that uh, little application uh, that will open in full screen mode uh, when you connect uh, to the PC and download another little app in Windows PC that will say that uh, your phone is compatible or not with Cyanogen mode so no problem your phone will not dead or break or any type of complications in uh, flashing uh, ROM uh, also and there is no uh, problem if you are in a custom firmware or uh, default Samsung firmware or any other uh, there is no problem this will install the latest Cyanogen mod without any pain uh, this is the simplest method I ever found for flashing a ROM uh, exactly this is a single click and download option I don't know why Google uh, removed this application from Google Play Store uh, I can read more in any tech websites okay uh, I think I already said that you can open camera app from lock screen itself also you can add some new widgets to lock screen for quick information and you can you can customize these uh, things this is the way i customize open hangouts op uh, open to dialer open google chrome or simply unlock the phone and this is the home screen i set it up uh, you will get a fresh uh, home screen uh, this is the wallpaper provided by the Cyanogen mod itself you can set this wallpaper if you need or you can set anything you want also uh, that this is coming with uh, default uh, camera app from Google uh, Android pure Android and this is the browser coming by default this is the these are the browser I installed. I don't know why because I like Chrome. Sometimes I like UC. Some like sometimes I like Firefox. Sometimes I like Opera Mini. So I installed everything. And this is the YouTube app. And uh, in Galaxy S2 there is no DSP uh, for enhancing the sound. So I buy Power Amp Power AMP from Play Store and I installed this in the Cyanogen mod but I would say really now it is useless for me because the DSP manager is there this is working very well and this is the default player coming in this particular ROM Apollo Apollo is the default music player and with the DSP and everything it is working very well so really you don't need any power amp or any other application for playing audio and this is the default gallery application uh, and I installed MX player for playing audio sorry playing videos and this is the default Android interface and uh, for opening apps see this is are the installed application and you can see how smooth it is the, there is no lags there is zero lag for uh, opening any type of files uh, after installing uh, power AMB the Apollo sometimes uh, show error like closed unexpectedly I don't know why but 
uh, this is not a problem I still use uh, power AMB I like power AMB uh, as a music player and there are more cool stuff in settings uh, there will be a super user by default and you can add accounts uh, by default in touchwiz also that option backup and reset and uh, now you can add profiles uh, you can share the phone uh, uh, in uh, let us android 4.4 but this is not that feature uh, these are uh, Profiles. Profiles means we can uh, set different uh, profiles like home, night, or silent. Uh, this phone will act like that, uh, uh, just like that. Sometimes in home you need uh, Bluetooth on because your Bluetooth speaker is there, and it will automatically connect to the um, Bluetooth speaker. And uh, in work, may you may be a yeah, turn off uh, Wi-Fi, turn off Bluetooth, turn off GPS, turn off mobile data, etc. So you can set it, and uh, this will automatically uh, manage everything. Those are profiles, very useful feature, and you can uh, set many uh, things. This is this this is the uh, button settings. You can customize the button. Uh, should act like you can. Uh, use your power button to took photos you can, as uh, you can use it as camera control also also you can specify uh, the the uh, each and every button should do uh, what task for you and as you can see uh, after uh, shockingly this is a truth after installing this uh, their total internal storage was used uh, for specifically for application was around uh, 48 MB or 50 MB uh, there is no that much uh, unwanted application with this Xenogen mode uh, I installed everything uh, this this full list I installed as uh, after installing Cyanogen mode so you don't worry you will get a cool uh, working well uh, Cyanogen mode there is no uh, any unwanted app also you have root permission so if uh, something you don't like you can uninstall perfectly you don't worry and you can see if um, I installed clean master ads in widgets Facebook power AMP they are running uh, currently and it is using around 480 uh, MB and more than 300 MB is free uh, this 6.6 uh, MB 11 MB plus 2 ads in widgets and uh, uh, some clean master another 11 MB uh, but uh, when coming Cyanogen mode itself you can uh, accept around 300 MB of memory usage that's awesome you can run uh, many apps simultaneously without any lag and overall I would say this is perfect ROM uh, I can recommend to anyone this ROM because this is working very 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 well there is no problem you can see uh, this is uh, working very well uh, there is zero lag it is battery smooth also you can see if you uh, this uh, this this little thing that rounded battery uh, with percentage you can customize those things I don't know you can see oh my god okay uh, you can customize this type of things uh, showing AM PM or Wi-Fi I think almost everything you can customize in this uh, Cyanogen mode from the settings il itself and this is a very good experience I have with my Samsung Galaxy S2 uh, I really 
was really looking for a new phone but i think this um, rom will give another year for my samsung galaxy s2 i love this one because uh, this is a quite compact uh, portable look as a phone but i am too much interested in samsung galaxy note 3 but in indian version they added uh, exynos processor that uh, that particular processor still having hungry with battery also heat up while playing games so i am waiting for g n9005 the snapdragon version if they released i may be buy that note 3 but any other phone i cannot imagine because a uh, removable battery with expansion micro sd slot plus a cool camera and a processor like snapdragon 800 that will be uh, the best choice for another two years i will not switch uh, phones in every six months i will use a phone at least for one or two years so i cannot drop my hard-earned money on a uh, exynos version of note 3 okay anyway uh, this is my feedback regarding uh, the latest synergen mod 10.2 and the latest 4.3.1 for samsung galaxy s2 everything is working well everything is perfect there is no problem uh, as you see the apollo pair close to two times but no problem this is the first time in the recording video no this is the third time first time after installing power a and b it's closed two times uh, sorry closed one time after that recording this video the apollo music pair closed i don't know why but that is not as not at all a reason for checking out this ROM. this is that much smooth and i will say these words from my heart you should try this this is awesome this is awesome okay anyway thanks for your time and have a nice day bye bye happy holidays